Normally, I do find reasons to give you a Movie Studio and Vegas Pro tutorial separate, even if it's small reasons. This time, the Vegas Pro Movie Studio are identical. You'll see Movie Studio, but this is for Vegas Pro and Movie Studio Platinum. Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Movie Studio 17 Platinum, and we're going to talk about amplitude modulation. Yes, the same thing that's in AM radio, but uh, we're going to talk about it in the small form of amplitude modulation, something you might actually use in a project. Now, this is mostly used for uh, musicians kind of guitar modulating stuff, but it's also something that could be used for a lot of creative effect. It's just another tool for your tool belt, and I wanted to highlight something that uh, hasn't really been highlighted much before. So with amplitude modulation, it's an effect you can add, you can do it to your timeline or your audio effect. Here I'm just clicking on the effect button, amplitude modulation, add and OK. Now I have amplitude modulation on my clip. So when I play it, it doesn't do anything because we have a flat modulation. So we're going to talk about more what this is. I'm going to play you just a second of the song. It's the intro song because you're about to hear it all chopped up in different ways and I need you to have some sort of bass reference for what's actually happening to your ears. It's just a standard kind of rock song. So here we can do all sorts of things with this because with amplitude modulation, you can create keyframes and actually change how loud and soft it is over time to a certain frequency. Now you can imagine there is lots of different things you can do with this, both with recording music, editing music, but also with editing sound effects and dealing with uh, special scenarios. Like imagine your character is being thrown around in circles, but the audio is nice and clean, but you need it to sound like he gets further away from the mic. You know, then that would fix that problem. Or there's all sorts of different things that can this could be used for. So keep that in mind as we go through it. There is a lot of awesome presets. We're going to go through them. The hard square. This is also great for blowing out your audio if you want to do that. We also can, you can fix and perfect every part of this as we go. So we'll talk about that more in just a second. Sawtooth is like, you know, just a, a sawtooth kind of line, but it starts this little line in a timeline here. This is no modulation to extreme modulation. So it gives a ramping effect. Sawtooth 2 gives a more extreme ramping effect. The sine wave is great. I think this would be great if your character is uh, going like bobbing under the ocean or whatever. Um, go ahead and give you a preview of the low pass frequency. I think that'd be fun. Anyway, uh, we're going to talk more about that in just a second. So, just trying to give you some ideas of how to use this. Sign out of phase. You have headphones on, it's pretty trippy. So what this is doing is it's uh, taking the sine wave, but it's doing it to every right and the left out of phase, so that means they're not together. So it's not rising and following the left and right speakers together, it's rising and following the stereo separately. Soft triangle. Soft square, I mean. Uh, triangle one. Similar to what we were doing at first, and wacky is when they have preset. Just to show, this one's really just to show you can do whatever you want. That's crazy, kind of a helicopter sound. So the dry out is essentially how the maximum uh, softness it can be. So if you put it all the way up, it never really gets soft. So you're kind of lowering this threshold here. You're pushing that up. You can see how that changes the effect. Wet out is how really loud it can get. So you can kind of smush it. Or blow it out. Amplitude modulation is really just how loud and soft the entire thing gets. So all the way up would just be blowing everything out. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
blend graphs, it will take part of this one and kind of fuzz it over this side of the graph. As you imagine a timeline, it would kind of overlap these. Give you less of a hard edge to the uh, beginning and ends of your sound. So we're going back to the sine wave because this best illustrates how the frequency modulation works. So with frequency modulation, it changes how often the sine wave occurs. Pretty crazy effects there, right? And with the stereo pan, this one's just, it, it changes how, uh, it, it's similar to the out of phase. We put it up to 100%, it'll actually do the sine wave in each year. Now that's very disorienting. Awesome, awesome, so many ideas about how you could use that. Um, the low pass frequency, where you used it earlier, what this does is it, it gives you um, a low pass is when you kind of give everything a bassy feel. So adding the low pass frequency is a way to kind of make everything sound bassier than it really is. And essentially the lower this is, the bassier it's going to be. Uh, tempo sync, this is great if you have your timeline set up with measures like uh, I showed you in a different tutorial, I will link it. Um, then you can actually use this tempo sync to sync the sine wave with the actual tempo of the song. It'll, it's really just a way to use the uh, automatic way to get the frequency modulation uh, dialed in how you want it. So that is using amplitude modulation audio effect. I like to highlight different effects. A lot of times I deal a lot with what we use every day, but sometimes it's good to bring up something that we don't use very often to remind everybody that it is a tool in our tool belt. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video, helps you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more. If you're interested in learning more about editing as a beginner, uh, I have lots of intro tutorials on this channel for free, but I also have a Udemy course where it not just covers uh, the introduction to the software, but it also covers a little bit more about introducing you to the art styles and choice decision making in uh, editing uh, for both like documentaries and it's got some edit along courses too so check out the description for all sorts of helpful links like if this video helped you out subscribe if you're looking for more i will see you guys next time thanks for watching